Hey all you dolls and birds, this is Koo Impact with Let's Play Bear With Me. And we are at the end of the game. We'll finally get to understand what happened, and what has Amber forgotten, and what is the secret of Paper City. And more importantly, we can get both endings because we have the red claw and the sword. And I made a save file right here. Mom, what does this mean? Where is Flint? Where is he? Mom, Dad, what's going on? She ripped the red cloth off of the firefighter's uniform. Look at the statues. No, please! Dad, we have to find him! We can't leave! We have to find him! I don't know why she paused there. The Redman! I am the Redman. It is too late to save. <laughs> it is too late to save. I just want to show that off because not a lot of people know that. Oh, I can give her the red touch. Ember, have the touch. Hee ha! Oh, sword or claw? Don't come any closer. I genocide and I'm not afraid to use or it. true ending. Whoa, look at Paper City in the background. It's fucking hype. Look at that. Too bad I'm coming to kill her. There's playing cards and jacks and cardboard and stuff. You know, Paper City really looks like. Stay away. Amber's not afraid to, you know, murder a monster. Yeah. They must touch, but they must touch in the middle. I'm not OCD. You're OCD. Stay back. Okay, I'm that's close enough, buddy. Here. I've got a sword. Now I'm gonna walk towards you. Doobity -doo, doo doo Just wait to be killed by a little girl. I'm not afraid of a level six sword. I'm a monster who can't escape. Somebody needs to kill her really good. No, don't do it! The schism! No, you'll shatter reality! Nobody anticipated a level 6 sword! This is the bad end. I wasn't ready, and Red made it difficult for me not to hate him. I don't know what'll happen now. How can I? Will it all go back to how it was before? Will I ever see Ted again? Will I ever see Flint again? I understand what happened, and I know now Red was a necessary evil. Still, going back to Paper City gave me this feeling of hope. Hope I might find him there. Hope he's just hiding, and I thought if I keep looking for him, maybe I could see him again. I didn't feel so helpless anymore. Something I was feeling deep down ever since that day, I don't want to feel like that again. Life without hope is misery. And it feels like you're waiting for a train that's long been cancelled. I'm just tired and rambling. I need to get some sleep. I'll be wiser tomorrow. After all, it's going to be a brand new day. You know, Dr. Horrible sung that once, and it was not actually a good idea to be a brand new day. Please, wake up! Son of a bitch. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah! It seems you had a nightmare. I don't really remember. That's all right. Miss. I am the nightmare. Nightmares are best forgotten. Son of a bitch. 
Well, I guess everything loops. Uh, 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 you can't play the credits in my face yet. We we can't. This is a spoilers game. No. No credits. Oh, come on. Don't spoil it, spoil it. I thought you only got the... Oh, right. It's probably because I have all the achievements. Damn it. Whoops. <laughs> Koo made a mistake. Well, I wanted to show off both endings. Yeah, let's go to the save. Let us go to the save. Let's finish this for real this time. Alright, I'm going to talk over this part because we've seen it. Now, it's all the interesting thing about it is that it really is just an Ouroboros loop because she can't cope with her brother's death. She's she's having a hard time coping with death in general, it seems. What does this like. mean? Where is Flint? And Where is he? She blames herself for her for his death because she is allergic to bananas. Flint got banana cookies. She ate just one, had a severe allergic reaction, Mom, and at the Dad, same time, this on? drunkard below them set the building on fire because he fell asleep with a cigarette somewhere on his body. I assume it was in his mouth, to be honest. I assume he had like three in his mouth. And uh, the no. monoxide, especially Wait. since the monoxide spread so fast in the him. upper Why floors, you, you can see how much smoke there is. It's insane. So yes, Flint, Flint's dead. He's never coming back. No, Ted's please. dead, Dad, but there's him. something please. special we about the imaginary him. kind of dead. The world of Paper City really is just all in her subconscious. Unlike Chalk Zone, where it is real, real, somehow. Alright, Red. One last time. Do your woogity woogity. And you come after me. You want, it you want this. This piece of you, don't you? Fireman just wants his suit back. I mean, come on, you ripped it apart, Amber. I told you she had, like, talon like nails. I like all the lightning going You're on in the so distance. Bad. It was me who made you into a monster. Yeah, Amber. You're the monster here. I mean, you killed your brother. Sort of. If you really want to blame yourself for it. Too busy being dead. Amber, get a little closer. Because of me. Because I refuse to accept. Okay, yeah, so at least she's a little bit aware of how Jungian psychology works. But we're not here to talk about psycho psychobabble. Oh, okay, so there's no more dialogue. Get a little closer, Amber. Just a little bit closer. There we go. Now I'm just gonna let Red do his thing. Red, get your piece back. Touch the girl, Red. Use the touch. As you can see, there's Red. Amber is in the eyes of Red. Red took his piece back. Red is now whole. And all is absolved. Wash away the sins of yesterday with a new brand of tomorrow. I remembered everything. I understand now, at least, that it wasn't my fault. Sometimes life is unfair. Ted taught me that. If I hadn't eaten that cookie, we would have been home when it happened. Maybe Flint would have gotten out okay, but maybe someone else would get hurt. No one can know that. Maybe your whole no family would have died. I miss him so much. I thought if I pretend he's just hiding that maybe, I don't know, that maybe I could see him again somehow. I didn't feel so helpless anymore. Somewhere along the way, I got lost in my own fantasy, and it got difficult for me to stop pretending. Mom and Dad told me so many times it wasn't my fault, but I wouldn't accept it, and I know now that was wrong. You can't outrun sadness, so there's no point in trying. No, the you only cannot. The way to get over something is just to face it head on. I guess in his own way, that was what Red was trying to do. He was destroying this fabrication I made around myself in hopes of reaching me. But it was only when I lost he was breaking the colorless fake world for really reality. And I see now it was what he wanted all along. I know I'll never see Flint again, and it makes me sad. But as Ted once said, life gets sad sometimes. 
All I have to do is push through, and happiness will find me again. I need to get some sleep now. I'll be wiser tomorrow. After all, it's going to be a brand new day. Listen to the connotation of that line in both endings, and you'll understand why it's very poetic to say something like that. The color's back! We did it! We destroyed the noir! And there they are. Yeah, Amber, just let it all out. It's finally time to stop playing pretend. Now imagine how awkward the prequel is when you're playing as Flint. With Ted. It's very strange. Have you seen that cat Cino this? Have you cat Cino this? Oh, okay. <laughs> Read the pun wrong at first. Okay, yeah, the newspaper is kind of like over there. It's like your epilogue. Snoop did the- he did it. Burk away, guys. Yeah, you better burk away. So this has been Let's Play Bear With Me. A psychological slash noir mystery horror game. Oh, looks like he got out alive. Although slightly damaged from the fire. And it looks like Paper City still exists. Huh. You know, that's some Tesseract level shit right there. When the world that is a metaverse world exists beyond the one who basically destroyed it because they only created it to escape reality. Escapism is a theme in this game. And it's why I like it so much, because... You shouldn't escape your problems. Don't run away from reality. You should face them head on. You should uh, try to improve yourself. Look at things not only objectively, but also from a third person standpoint. Understand that the people around you are here to not hurt you. They're here to help unless they're sociopaths. Then they're definitely here to hurt you. You should get new friends. I try not to associate myself with sociopaths because they just, they've ruined me in the past and they'll try to ruin me again if I do it in the future. Everything is purely fiction until it's reality. <laughs> I just like how the colors finally returned and everything was normal looking in our room, but our room did look different. I also like this scene a lot. You know, Ted's still there to protect her, because Ted is just her teddy bear. And they're in the countryside, like like they said. They're nowhere near that city. So, this concludes Bear With Me. I'm going to let the song play one more time. Now, do the lyrics make a little more sense? Because, uh, they have lots of heavy meaning now. Didn't you notice through all the episodes that it was raining? I mean, Red was the one bearing harder than you. Haha, <laughs> so I will see you guys next Let's Play.